More now on that right to work issue. Now that it will soon be law in Michigan, there are a lot of questions, of course, about how this will affect our state, its companies, and of course, your money. We asked you to send your questions to our Facebook page, and Rick has some answers for some of those people that sent us the questions. The first one comes from Amber Borello. And the question is this, if people are already in a union, can they voluntarily remove themselves from the union? Yeah, I think generally the answer is yes, and here's why. You are no longer forced to be a part of a union. So when this law goes into place, and remember, it will not take effect until around April 1st, it would then follow that if you are in a union and chose not to pay those union dues, that that would be acceptable underneath this law. However, between now and then, there's going to be a lot of conversation about what exactly how this law is applied. But I think that's the anticipation. And there is also concern on the part of unions just how many existing union members may decide not to pay those union dues in addition to new people who might hire in and opt not to join the union in the first place. Right. We have another question from Bob Persky. Is it federal law that unions must represent workers whether they pay dues or not? Almost. Right now, if you choose not to pay union dues, you don't have to be a part of the union per se, but you do have to pay a fee, not the full dues, but you still have to pay something to the unions for their collective bargaining, for their representation. You don't have to participate in the other part of the union necessarily, but there is a fee that you have to pay to be associated with that under this new law that will no longer exist. Mm. Shauna Veltema, do those who choose not to be in a union and not to pay union dues still have union backing or union support? This is really the crux of the whole question, and this is why unions are understandably as angry as they are, because the answer is yes. If you are hired in a union shop but choose not to pay union dues, you're still working under the umbrella of that collective bargaining agreement, which means not only will you be paid at the same rate and have the same benefits, but if you have a grievance, the union is also required to represent you. So that's one of the issues that came up often yesterday as it was debated on the House floor. People said they thought that was patently unfair. Unions say they'll end up representing people who aren't paying their fair share of the dues, and that was one of their big arguments. But that is going to be the law of the state of Michigan by about the first part of April. Yeah. A lot of other questions, too. There are a bunch of them. We'll try to get to as many as we possibly can. And by the way, we've got a lot more stories to do. Oh, this, this issue has only oh. just begun. It may have passed and been signed. That's right. We'll be doing right to work stories from now until whenever. And thank you for your participation and your good questions today.